Dr. Seuss book is hitting store shelves. We want to run out and get it ourselves. <laughs> and they are launching the book with the party at Where Else, the Geisel Library. Uh, on the places you will go, 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie is live at UC San Diego with a book being unveiled right now, Mary. And Jim, Virginia, you're never too old, too wacky, too wild to pick up a book and read to a child. That's just what they're doing right here with this brand new book, Dr. Seuss's The Horse Museum, celebrating the continued legacy of Ted Geisel. So if you wanted to see what the original sketches are like, children and adults alike, that he, and he considered adults sort of grown-up children, right? It's an immediate response because you can understand the work as soon as you see it. The manuscript and some rough storyboard sketches for the Horse Museum were treasures found by Geisel's widow Audrey in boxes in their home in 2013, long after Ted Geisel's death. Exactly. The book is about art and helps kids, big and small, understand what is art. Inside the book, horse artwork from greats like Picasso and Jackson Pollock. And there are some famous Seuss cameos as well from characters like the Grinch and the Cat in the Hat. The illustrations were done by artist Andrew Joyner. The Dr. Seuss special collection at the Geisel Library contains more than 20,000 items. Well, I started as an art historian. And the head curator is Linda Clausen, who says we haven't heard the last from Dr. Seuss. There's more to come. There's always more. It's considered a treasure, and there were lots of treasures in these boxes. And here is the latest treasure. I love that she teased ahead to more to come, but Horse Museum is out. You can see here's one of those cameos from a familiar figure here enjoying the artwork on the wall. So you can pick up a copy here until 1 o'clock today. They've also got a little party going on out there. You can join them here at the Geisel Library at UC San Diego. Mary McKenzie, 10 News.